At least one's no display. That port is very loose. Yeah, again, not in the greatest condition, and it doesn't look like it's displaying at all. If Vince has been any public GD, nah, Vince is all good. No, I am wiggling the cable. No, absolutely nada. Nothing at all. It's not even picking up that it's a PS4, so it could just be a port. Right, okay. Yeah. Broken HDMI port. Lovely. Hmm, could end up with damaged pads there. That's not good. Being pushed that far back. The only thing that's stopped there is the diode. Hmm. Not good being pushed that, pushed that far back, that much I can tell you. Alright, this is going to melt the crap out of the port, but it doesn't matter. The port's coming off and staying off, so whatever. Oh, the pads are fine, actually. There we go. Alright, we've got some channel renewals coming in. By the look of it. Right, so I'm just going to do a couple of tests here. So let's test this fuse. A lot of people forget about this fuse. That's good. Right, test this EMI filter here. Good. But with these uh, EMI filters, you want continuity from top to bottom, but you don't want continuity from left to right. So, for example, if that was short to there, then that filter would be bad. Or there'd be an issue with the chip, but more likely a bad filter. But I always test these while I'm replacing the port, just to make sure. Yeah, they're all good. Because they're for filtering out noise on the data lines, and if any of those are blown, they basically act like fuses. But if any of those are blown, we wouldn't get a display when we put the new port on. So I'm going to make sure that those are good before I put the port on, because replacing them while there's a port on there, it makes it really difficult. Now I will heat up from underneath. Get out of there. Thank you. Just want to make sure the pins are all good. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so for, for putting it back on, I always heat up from underneath. No exceptions. It prevents the port from getting damaged. I've got my hot air at 480 degrees Celsius. There's nothing sensitive here. Not underneath, anyway. At the top there is, but not underneath. Uh, 
Wait for all those to flow fully. Keep my airflow moving. Very slightly off centre that is. I'll sort that bridge out in a minute. Uh, thank you, Lafayette. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, I've got a flexible shaft. Yeah. Appreciate that, mate. Thank you for the donor. Fifty pounds that is all solid. Uh, yeah, you're welcome to donate the fifty pound, mate. When I uh, when I make sure they're all solid. Right, let's just sort these solder joints out. Man, I hate transferring heat on the back here. bit dull because the uh, solders are mixed between leaded and unleaded. Let's just change that mixture a little bit. Make them a little bit shinier and a little bit more reliable.
Just trying to change the mixture up a little bit. That's better. A little bit shinier now. Right, Let's just double check these because uh, then all console repairs along me 50 quid. Solid, 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 solid. There we go. All good. A digital microscope. Um, it really depends. I can't use one personally, but that's just because I'm used to the eyepieces. Um, well, yeah, they do absolutely fine. Um, I know a lot of people who prefer a digital microscope over optical. Um, like you don't, because you don't need perfect, especially if you're not like creating YouTube videos, for example. You don't need perfect picture quality. So, like, even a cheap one will do. Right, this has already been cleaned, so I don't need to do that. All I need to do is just replace the, uh, the thermal paste. There we go. Job is a good one. I'll give that a proper clean out before it gets sent back, but there we go. Cool. Good stuff. Seems to be working. Actually, my port is now working fine. 10.5 so you probably need an update cool thank you Fred uh, thank you Fred I appreciate that mate uh, right okay another one done I'll give it a full test tomorrow job's a good one